everyone and welcome back to my channel so today sorry i am going to be giving you guys a few tips on what you should know before going into university more specifically uft which is the uni university that i attend um so these are kind of like the things that i wish i knew before um starting university especially going to uft i have a few things that i I'm going to share with you guys that I find very uh, useful and important for you to know. I am um, going into my second year of university in September. My first year was crazy. It started very, very stressful, but then as soon as I got the hang of it and really understood what I should do and how I should do certain things, then it started to become more easy and um, I started to enjoy it a lot more than I did in the beginning. The first tip I am going to give you guys is to not put yourself down, if that makes sense. But yeah, don't put yourself down and don't give up. Your first year of university is nothing like high school. When I tell you it's completely different, it's like two different type of things, okay? In high school, you know, it's more laid back in a way. And um, I find that it's easier to get good grades in high school reason why university is very different from high school is because you're going to have a lot more work to do and the grades will be very different from your grades in high school. Let's say you're a student that gets really good marks, so like A's and A pluses and all that. You are most likely not going to be getting those in the beginning of university. It doesn't happen to anyone, everyone, but most of the times um, it'll be harder in the beginning for you to get an A plus. But that does not mean that you should give up and that's it, like you're never going to get an A. It is very possible to get A's and A pluses in university. Um, you just have to work harder. Also, not only do you have to work harder, but work smarter. So this is kind of my second tip. Um, it's going to uh, the Writing Center. Now, the Writing Center is this program that uh, UFT has. It's free. Basically, you go onto this website, you can book a time slot for you to meet with someone that, that will read whatever you have. So you don't have to have a rough draft for the to go to the writing center. You can literally have just notes and, or not even, like literally you could just have the instructions of what you have to do and just have a kind of an idea of how you wanted to start your um, assignment. And they will help you, um, if you don't bring anything, they will help you kind of start your assignment and give you ideas and how you should write your assignment. And if you have a rough draft, then that's perfect because they will literally read your whole entire rough draft, make corrections for you, tell, give you tips and what you should change. And when I tell you the writing center really helped me this year, like it saved my life. Like It helped me a lot because um, I had someone at home who would read my work, but it's always good to have more than one person reading your work, especially if it's someone that you don't know, so that they're not kind of like biased and don't, um, what's the word? Feel bad in a way to tell you that what you're doing is wrong. And <laughs> um, so it was very helpful and you can, you can always go whenever you want. You just have to book your time slot. Um, it's 30 minutes and I recommend this like a lot. And which is my other tip is every time you get a bad mark, go speak to your professor. When I tell you this is very, very important, it's like the most important thing for you to get good marks. So I'm gonna give you guys an incident that happened to me this year. Um, one of my uh, TAs had given me a very, very bad mark. Um, and like, it was no bueno. I did not like this mark. And it was very weird because I had worked so hard on this assignment. I also had somebody um, read it and I went to the writing center and they told me that it was good and that I can submit it. But then when I gave it in, I ended up getting a bad mark. So I was very shocked. And so this was um, in the beginning of the year. And I did not know that you can go up to a teacher and tell them that I don't like this mark can what why did I get this mark so my mom told me that you should go and speak to the teacher and then I did and she ended up boosting my mark 13 percent 
I was shocked. I was like, wow. I, she didn't even reread it, nothing. I just spoke to her. I was like, I don't understand why I got this mark. I had somebody read it at home. And I also had, um, I also brought it to the writing center and they read it and they told me it was good. So I don't understand why I'm getting this mark. And then she just looked over it. And then after it was like, okay, I'll boost your mark. I ended up boosting my mark and I ended up get it, finishing that whole entire course with a really good mark because not only did she boost that um, that assignment, but she also made sure that in the other assignment that she's actually doing a good job reading my work and isn't just giving me a mark just like that, like whatever mark and thinking that I'm not going to go and speak up. It made no sense that she didn't even like reread it, nothing, and I didn't have to edit anything. And she just gave me, she boosted my mark, 13%. It wasn't like 2%, it was 13%. So that's why, and it, it wasn't the only course that this happened to me. On many other courses, I got a bad mark and I went up to my professor or my TA and spoke to them. And then they, um, they ended up boosting my mark. So yeah, so work smart and hard at the same time. And I promise you, you will be getting marks that you deserve and you will be getting the A pluses and A's that you want. Okay, so the next tip that I am going to give is be organized. When I tell you that this is very, very important to be organized, I'm being very serious. So I am a very big procrastinator, like a very big procrastinator, but, um, first year first semester I mean um I was really like trying hard to like not be a procrastinator but then second semester not too good okay <laughs> first semester the way I was organized is I have a whiteboard you see that thing it literally still has like the things from last semester um but yeah so first semester how I kept organized was having a schedule um this helped me a lot if you are someone who needs to have like um, who has trouble with time management, making a schedule for yourself helps a lot, trust me. So what I used to do is I would give myself an hour for each course because I knew myself, I can't go more than an hour um, doing one thing because I will start to get distracted and then not want to do that thing anymore. It was easier to do it like this because it helped me finish everything in a like, in a good amount of time like i wasn't stressed out or um rushing everything so yeah so being organized not only will help you get and achieve good marks it will also help um your mental health and help you get through uft because it is very stressful especially if you have a full load courses like you have five courses in a semester um i'm telling you being organized is the only thing that's going to keep you alive and if you're not organized, then you should probably work on that before getting to school. Um, and yeah. Okay. The next thing, the next tip or basic thing that you should know before coming into university, especially UFT, um, is knowing your program of study. Knowing what you want to do, what your major is, what your minor is, if you're going to take a specialist, if you're going to take two, two majors, you're going to take a minor i mean a major and two minors you should know exactly what you want to do um and if you don't that's also okay you know you have your first year to kind of figure out what you really like okay so i'm just gonna give an example for me so i didn't really know what i wanted to do other than sociology but i didn't want to take a specialist in sociology i just wanted to take it as a my as a major so what i did is i looked at all of um you know, the UFT programs and everything that they have at, you know, at UFT. And the ones that stood out to me was African studies and women's studies. And so at UFT, you don't um, get into your major and minor the first year. It's the second year. That's when you apply for it. So first year, I just took a bunch of African studies uh, courses and women's studies courses and as well as um, my sociology course which was only one course, which was the major course um, that you have to take. Did I take two sociology courses? No, I took another one in the summer. 
another sociology course, but I took an introduction introduction to sociology, which was the whole year. But yeah, so basically know exactly what major and minors that you want to take because that is very important. Um, and once you know exactly what you want to do, if you want to do two majors or major and two minors, um, and you know the subjects that you want to take, go on to the uh, University of Toronto website, the program of study website, I think, and then look at everything that you need to take, like the requirements to get into that, um, into that program, and also what you need to do, what courses you have to take for that program. And try, if you can, if they um, allow you as a first year a student to take those courses, take it in the first year. Take, try to take, what I'm trying to do is my first and second and third year, I want to take all my mandatory courses for my major and my minors so that the fourth year I have mostly just electives. So then I am, um, I'm not as stressed out because I had already, I have already finished all my mandatory courses. But it won't always happen. Like you will probably not be able to take all of them the first three years. And we'll have to take like a couple the last year. So yeah, just try to take all your courses that are mandatory first and second year. But also that's if you know your first year. If you know what minor and majors you're trying to get into. If you don't, then take courses in everything that you're interested in. And then whichever one you like the most, take that as a minor and a major because you don't want to be doing something that you don't enjoy. So for example, for me, I thought I was going to like history and I took a bunch of history courses this year, first year. Um, but then I realized by like the third course, I actually hated history. I don't know why I thought I would like it. And so uh, originally I was going to take history as a minor, but then I didn't end up liking it. So I was like, okay, I don't really want to do this and lastly this is very important um for you to do this is to apply for your t card the t card is basically what will let you get into your it's basically your utoward i can never say that word right um id which will allow you to get into acorn which is where you can apply for, uh enroll into courses into programs um pay for your tuition Look at your financial account, finance account, I mean, uh, what else can you do on Acorn? Yeah, and look at your timetable. You need to get your T card. As soon as you get into the university, get your T card because that's also how you're going to get into Quarkus. And Quarkus is where you're going to find all your courses. So everything, all your courses that you have, you need to, it's like, a, it's kind of like Google Classroom. Yeah, it's kind of like Google Classroom. And so you, when you go on to Quarkus, that's where you're going to have all your courses. That's where you're going to get your assignments from, your lectures, um, and everything like that. So get your T-card, take your picture, and register for that as soon as you start university. Jimmy on the track, so you know it's lit.